Governor Gretchen Whitmer was on hand at Wayne State University this morning for a pretty big announcement that's aimed at high school students in Detroit. Our Rod Maloney joins us live now with what the heart of Detroit tuition pledge is all about, Rod. Yeah, Rod, it was a, uh, a, an assembly here. They had the Wayne State University marching band, the governor, the mayor, principals, uh, and the president of Wayne State University. And they brought all of the students in and uh, gave a surprise to about half a dozen students, uh, free tuition uh, at Wayne State University. Now let's hear from uh, Keith Whitley, who is the provost of the school, when he made the announcement about what was going to happen. Now, it's for students living in Detroit, graduating from Detroit high schools, that want to come to Wayne State University. Is there anybody out there? Well, hang on to this. I got something for you. I got something for you. How about this? How about if your college tuition is free? Well, as you can imagine, the students had the opportunity to have free college tuition, realized that uh, they were getting quite the bonus there, so they were quite excited about it. Um, this is uh, what's called a last dollar scholarship. That means that after a student fills out the FAFSA, they can receive whatever scholarships they can earn, and then that money is then added to by the university itself. Now, it does not cover a lot of things like, for instance, uh, books, housing, and meals, but the university says they're going to be offering other kinds of aid to assist students in that regard. The idea here is to sort of end the jobs gap that is out there and give the opportunity to attend college to a lot of students who otherwise would not have that opportunity. And so we have more about the particulars about this, how it works, who is eligible, where the money is coming from. We'll have that coming up on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Malone, Local 4. And Rod, what about current students uh, that were ones that just graduated high school? I'm yeah, it would, it would be Detroit City High School students. They don't have to be attending a Detroit high school. They have to be living in the city of Detroit, and in so doing, they become eligible. But it also requires filling out the FAFSA and another, a number of other hoops that you have to jump through. Okay, Rod Maloney reporting live for us this afternoon. Rod, thank you.